This video will discuss the basics of developing a deterministic model. A deterministic model shows the relationships between the results of their performance and the factors that produce the results. Using a flow diagram helps to illustrate proper relationships. Every model begins with a flow diagram starting with a simple mechanical goal, and this goal is broken down into parts and subparts until all relevant mechanical relationships are shown. For example, let's consider the 100 meter sprint. The most important result for the 100 meter sprint is time. The two most basic and relevant factors that pertain to time are speed and distance, and they're related by the equation speed is equal to change in distance divided by change in time. Now this equation can be manipulated to isolate time, and we see that time in this scenario is equal to speed divided by distance. So time is at the top of the deterministic model because that is the result that we want to minimize. Looking at the 100 meter sprint, the time to complete the race is dependent on the speed of the athlete and the distance traveled. You can then see how our rearranged equation can define this relationship. It's important to know how that equation defines that relationship in order to understand the mechanical elements that affect your goal. This flow diagram can then be further developed to examine more subparts and mechanical relationships that contribute to the execution of the skill, but this will be discussed in another video. Overall, there are four important rules to remember when developing a deterministic model. At the top of the model is the goal of the performance. The variables at the bottom of the model are areas that can be easily changed to impact the performance. The model is subjective, so there are many correct models. A model is only incorrect if the mechanical connections are incorrect. This means if you have a connection that does not reflect an accurate equation or mechanical relationship.